make this dress, I am using crepe fabric. It gives a shiny finish and a perfect fall to the dress. So firstly, I will make the bodies and for that I have folded the fabric. Now, I will mark the length of my bodies which is 13.5 inch. So, I have marked a the point there. And now from top, mark a point at 6.5 inch. Now I'll extend these points. Now I'll mark the chest and waist measurement. So chest measurement is 8.5 inch. And the waist measurement is 7 inch. Now join these points with a slight curve like this. Now for shoulder I have marked the point at 6.75 inch and marked the same point on the chest line too. Now join these points. From this point go 1 inch inwards and mark the point and join these points too. For neckline from the center go 3.5 inch inwards and mark the point. From this point, take the depth of the neckline and mark the point. Again from this point, go 3.5 inch inwards and mark the point. Now join these points to form a rectangle. So I have made round neckline shape in this rectangle. Now from this point, go 0.5 inch downwards and mark the point and join these points. This is shoulder slope. Now I'll make the shoulder curve. Now I'll make the waist dart. For that, from the top, mark a point at 10.5 inch. This is apex point. Now from center, go 3.5 inch inwards and mark the point and mark the same point on the waistline too. Join these points. From this point, go half inch on both sides and mark the point and join these points too. I have leave uh, excess seam allowance because I need fabric for darts. I will trim the excess fabric later. Now I leave a 0.5 inch seam allowance at the bottom and now bodice is ready and now I'll cut it. So this is the bodice and now I'll open it and take out the back bodice. Now I'll cut the front shoulder curve. Now I've made the neckline and the back uh, dart on the back bodies. And now for interface, I'll trace the bodies on the other fabric, neckline and shoulder. From neckline, go four inch downwards and mark the point. And from shoulder go 4 inch downwards and mark the point. Join these points like this and now I'll cut it. So this is the interface for the body. For the bottom of the dress, firstly I'll cut the front part and for that I have folded the fabric diagonally. Now I'll uh, mark the waist measurement and it's 7 inch now I'll mark the length of the front front length is 40 inches after deducting bodice length which is 13.5 inch I'll get 26.5 inch so I'll mark the length at 26.5 inch from the waistline now 
have left one inch seam allowance for the hem now i'll measure the same point from the top of the fold and it comes 35.5 inch and i'll mark the same point on the other end from the top of the fold 35.5 inch and now i'll repeat the same process between the both end points so i have joined both the points like this and now i'll cut it the front part is ready and now i'll trace the same on the other fabric for the back so i have traced it this is the front i have extended the center length as this is the high low dress and points sorry and measurement will remain the same and i have joined both the end points with the slight curve like this and now i'll cut it for stitching i'll begin with darts firstly i'll stitch all the darts now i'll stitch the shoulder slope of bodies on the both sides so i've stitched it and overlocked it and now similarly i'll stitch the shoulder slopes of interface on the both sides I have stitched it and overlocked it too. Now to attach bodies and interface, keep the keep them together, right sides facing each other, and start stitching from the neckline. Leave around one one and a half inch of fabric and start stitching the neckline. shoulders so should touch each other this is really very important so i have stitched the neckline and i have pressed it and i have pinned up the shoulder and now i'll trim the excess fabric if there is any So I have trimmed the excess fabric and now I'll stitch it. So I have stitched the shoulder and now similarly I'll stitch the other shoulder too. So I have stitched the neckline and shoulder and now I'll pull out the back out of the front. Like this. And this is how it looks. And now, now this similarly, I'll pull out the other side too. So, uh, 
this is uh, shoulder and neckline and now to attach a zipper I have uh, finished the edges and now I'll fold the around the half inch of fabric and press it This is the front of the zipper and this is the back of the zipper. From back, I'll just open up the zip and press it. And to attach a zipper, I am using this zipper foot. Now I have attached the zipper with the fabric right sides facing each other and I have pinned up. And now I will stitch the zipper as close as I can. So I have stitched this side and now similarly I will stitch the other side too. So I have attached the zipper and now I will stitch the leftover neckline too. And I also finish the interface. This is how it looks. So uh, bodice is ready. Now I'll attach the bottom with the bodice. So I have stitched the bottom with the bodies and overlocked it. Now I will turn the seam allowance direction downwards and will make a top stitch. Like this. And now similarly I will attach the back. So I have attached the back also. And I have finished the zipper too. Now I'll stitch the fitting seam on both sides. So fitting seam is also done. And now I'll stitch the hemline. So my dress is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and do leave me a comment guys, it really means a lot. And if you haven't, please do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.